So we're going to select bass guitar in the sound browser. So tap sound browser in the top left and scroll along until you find bass guitar and tap on smart bass. And you should see this view. If you're seeing a fretboard like that, if you tap on chords, it will give you the chord view that we need. Now, the first thing we need to do is practice where we're going to tap our bass notes. So for C, we're just going to tap the lowest string at the bottom of the screen. Okay. For F and G, we're going to tap the third strings up from the bottom. Okay. So C on the lowest string and F and G, third string up. Good. Now, we're going to start with section A. So let's click return to get back to the start of the section. And the notes for this section are going to be held notes. So we're going to play F, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, C, 2, F, 2, 3, 4. So you can see those notes printed out in the PDF that goes with the project. I'll play them for you again. F, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, C, 2, F, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so just like we did with the melody, you have to wait after the clicks. In this case, you wait for four. So you hear click, 2, 3, 4, wait, 2, 3, 4, and then F, 2, 3, 4. So lots of counting in fours. I'll just demonstrate that for you. Two, three, four, wait, two, three, four. Last job is to quantize that, so we'll tap on the track controls, the slider button at the top left, and then we'll choose track settings, quantization, and we want to choose straight and quarter note. We haven't got any triplets in the bass part, it's a much more straightforward rhythm. And we'll tap track controls again just to come out of that menu. And let's have a we listen to finish. So in the next step, we'll record the bass part for the other sections.